Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. On today's show, we're just outside of Chester in the UK, checking out the boardroom climbing wall. Now this may look like a fairly boring warehouse building, but inside is one of the coolest climbing wall features I've ever seen. So I am here to meet Freddie, who's agreed to show me around, and he's by the bar. Freddie, nice to meet you, man. How you doing? Yeah, nice to meet you. Welcome to the boardroom, Matt. Thank you so much for having me. So, how long have you worked here for? Uh, I've been here for about four and a half years, so since this place was built, really. Like, my first job was like painting and putting stuff together. So you, you were literally building this place from, yeah. from the scratch? From the grassroots, yeah. Awesome, man. Okay, well, you're showing me around today. So I am indeed. Where do we start? So I, I guess this is the perfect place to start. So in the boardroom, like one of the things we're particularly proud of is the food. Mm -hmm. We've got a chef who is actually the sister of the general manager who's just a wizard at making cakes. So I'm pretty sure maybe half our customers just come for the cakes. I, I had the white chocolate tripping thing. Yeah. Well, I think the sugar rush alone got me through my whole It's outrageous, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. It heavy. It's performance <laughs> enhancing, I think we call that. Nice man. So you've got all your kind of products laid out here, gear, food over there, and then in front of us, yeah. we can see the boulder. Yeah, absolutely. So the guys who designed this were just regular climbers. So the inspiration for the layout was just to make it sort of like a pretty chilled place to be. Mm -hmm. We all know that sort of Baldwin's 90% sitting around drinking coffee. So we've got like big communal spaces and couches. And, and you've got lots of angles. Uh, it's quite, it's not just like a normal kind of flat setup. There's lots of curves and curves, not curves, but you know what I mean? Yeah, overhangs. yeah, yeah. Well, EP like, work really really well with this to create these kind of wild shapes like whatever you can dream up there like yeah we can definitely make that so you want like a nice six meter overhanging prow that's what you can get and the grading system how do you work it is a tags or are you the color system yeah so it's sort of that lazy british system where all of one color is the same grade and we've got all from right at the beginning so v0 all the way up to v8 plus okay i was trying the yellow V4 to V6 yesterday, and like that was a hard V4 to V6 set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fell They're quite difficult. Yeah. <laughs> well, we've got a lot of new climbers in the boardroom because, like, when we dunked this place here, it's like right in the middle of Chester. It didn't have any climbing walls, so we owe a lot of homage to the beginner climbers, but also we're on the doorstep of North Wales. So yeah, because I haven't really explained where Chester is. It's like it's literally on the border between England and Wales, and North Wales, which is like climbing mecca. Absolutely. It's kind of what, an hour and a half? Yeah, away? yes. If you're coming from anywhere in the northwest, you have to come straight past us to get to North Wales. So when they get rained off in Lambert's yeah. Pass, they come here. Do we they? get a lot of grumpy climbers when it's yeah. raining, yeah, yeah. Not much it ever rains in North Wales. Nah, not it definitely comes in North That's Wales. That's a myth. Yeah. <laughs> so walking a little further on, we've got this sort of standalone boulder over here with a big, as you were saying earlier, like a big prow. Yeah, a big prow. This is our most recent addition, so this is the block. This was put in like maybe late last year to sort of like supplement this boulder in. And then coming over here further, we've got some slabs, some more vertical stuff. Yeah, and then we've got the comp walls here. So these are to the sort of IFSC specifications so we can hold World Cups here in the future if we want to. So, so comp goes on here, the audience is sitting in the sofa section over there. Yeah, absolutely. Get a nice can... view of it all. And this array is Beautiful. I don't think I've ever yeah. seen such a, like, a curving feature on a farm. Yeah, it's before. pretty savage. The setters can get pretty devious with what they do on that. Yeah, hideous. Yeah, hideous indeed. Um, and over on the left, I can see a sort of top roping section, like not lead climbing, but like more for beginners perhaps? Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's sort of, there's a nice spread of grades on there, but yeah, top roping is mostly for the beginners. Mm -hmm. And it's a really nice, again, like nice open sort of area, no little nooks or crannies to hide away in. So before we leave this area, we have to talk about the future of the boardroom. And you're, you're expanding this space, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. So the boardroom, we're always sort of like trying to push forwards, you know, and trying to increase our offering. And one of them is, is we're going to put a mezzanine floor on top of this boardroom and just add literally double. So the same amount again, just on top. Okay, so I've, I've seen the plans. You've, yeah. you've got stairs coming up. 
a new floor being built and then almost yep. like a repetition of this area but with different sort of yeah. angles of walls. Absolutely. So all the different angles that we couldn't fit into this bit, we can just sort of lay out and really nice. They've been super creative with what we can what we can have and just yeah, basically doubling our bouldering offering because that's what people want in North Wales. And when when is this going to be completed? When can we climb on it? So it should be complete by this time next year. Okay, cool. Now in my opening link, I mentioned that there was a feature in this climbing wall, which is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Yep. And we're coming to that right now. <laughs> it's a psych you've got a psycho block inside. Yeah, absolutely. So this one was the first in Europe, so the first to, where you can take uh, this height of fall onto a, a mat indoors. All right, so let's break this down. So high wall. Yep. A pad coming up to sort of my hip height. Yeah, and, and what is this? Pad. Is this an air pad or what is it? Yeah, so this is a, a giant foam pad similar to that of uh, like um, a pole vaulting, except maybe three times the size. So it's got big air tunnels inside that compress. So if you do take a whipper right from the very top, you kind of sink right into the middle of it. On your back. So yeah. That's what's different to regular boulder. I, I was playing around yesterday before we're doing this and I took a fall off the top on, on, yeah. on purpose. Of yeah, course. yeah. Of it's course. scary. It like, is that scary. Is when you're up there, that's higher than it looks. Yeah, it, it does quite a good job at replicating that exposed feeling of like high balling or deep water soloing, but indoors, you know, where you don't get wet or yeah. broken. We have sort of five or six routes on it normally, ranging from maybe 6B to 8A, 8A plus. Uh, and we also hold big competitions on the Seco block, which are like, we can get a big crowd all the way around, have some really nice finales, and people definitely up to the top and stuff like that. Awesome, that's yeah. really cool. And then coming through here, this is your training area. So we've got pegboard, campus ring, walls, yeah. everything. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So one of the things we're particularly proud of is that our pegboard here at the boardroom is the biggest in the UK when it was installed, which is it's good, but also pretty knackering when you're trying to get the pegs down after. Yeah, what'd you do if someone, uh, you've got to get a bit sort of Mission Impossible with like ropes and <laughs> like poles and if you've got someone really good at campus then you know, Just throw things at it. Yeah, throw things Human pyramid. <laughs> so this is your lead section here and you've packed a lot into quite a small area. Yeah, absolutely. So at the, in this building unfortunately we don't have like quite the soaring height that we mm. might have in other walls. So, we pack it in where, with what we've got. So, you know, this mega, mega steep wall here and lots of roots crammed in. You talk about the steepness. Looking up, I can see the quick draws hanging well out from the wall. It really comes yeah. cutting over our heads, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's wild. It's almost as steep as it is tall. Yeah. We reset our lead wall about, about every six weeks as well, just to keep the roots fresh. And we've had people like Steve McClaw, uh, Emma Twyford, Liam Halsey, like all these people have setting some amazing routes on this wall. I guess by being on, on the doorstep of North Wales, you can pull on that scene. There's lots of yeah. climbers coming in and out of there. Absolutely, yeah. And people are always willing to come to North Wales, like uh, from down south or from Sheffield, because make a trip. Because it's amazing. Yeah, yeah it's I miss right. it. It's the one, one major thing I miss about the UK is North Wales. Yeah, yeah, it's too right. Okay, so I know we're going to head outside now. Yep. Which is unusual. Okay, so coming into the outside bit. Yeah, so this is our drawing room. This is our sort of second dedicated training area. Uh, okay. So I think Tom Randall said it best when he said this is the sort of like ideal home garage setup if you could have one. It is the ideal because you've got two of the sort of the, the number one training facility things, which is electronic moon board yeah. and a lattice board. Absolutely, yeah. So the electronic moon board, I mean, they're, they're becoming ubiquitous now. They're mm -hmm. absolutely classic. We have a squad of people who just absolutely bully that almost all day long. <laughs> and then the lattice board is for our performance profiling. So we got in touch with uh, Tom Randall. I think we were one of the first walls to build and incorporate this mm -hmm. uh, as part of our offering as well. So do you guys coach the lattice system here? Yeah, so we do the lattice assessments um, and create the performance profiles and then we can write training plans based off that. Sort of as you as you know, based on your strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, mainly weaknesses. <laughs> um, well, Freddie, thank you so much for showing me around. It was no awesome. Like it's a cool gym because you've, you've got all the normal climbing wall features you'd expect from a high class gym. Yeah. But that psycho block, psycho yeah. block thing in the middle yeah, yeah, is yeah. just another level. So it's um, pretty unique. We're going to finish this. I'm going to go fall off it a lot. Uh, thank yeah. you very much, mate. And I'll no see you worries. soon. Cool. And uh, guys, you if you are somewhere near Chester, possibly going to North Wales, and you fancy checking out this wall, make sure you come to the boardroom. Link in the copy below, as always. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.